Hi, hello. Welcome back to Geotechnical Engineering class. Today, we are going to discuss some of the numerical problems from previous year question papers. Our first question is, a soil sample is compacted to a bulk unit weight of 18 kN per meter cube at 10% water content. Find the void ratio and degree of saturation of the soil. Also find the weight of water to be added to 100 meter cube of this soil for complete saturation. Assume G is equal to 2.75. Okay. So what are the data given? First they are given that the bulk unit weight that is gamma is equal to 18 kilonewton per meter cube. Also they are given the water content W is equal to 10 percentage. Then they are asked to find out the void ratio E also the degree of saturation. Also they ask to find the weight of water to be added to 100 meter cube of the soil sample for complete saturation. So we need to find out the total weight of water needed for complete saturation or full saturation. Okay. So they are given the volume of sample as 100 meter cube. Okay. And G is equal to 2.75. So our first aim is to calculate uh, the value of E. In order to get E, we need to find out the dry unit weight. Okay. We know the equation for gamma D is equal to gamma W plus 1 by W. Gamma D is equal to gamma divided by 1 plus W. Gamma is given, bulk unit weight is given as 18 divided by 1 plus substitute the value of W as 0.1 okay solving this we will get gamma d as 16.36 kilonewton per meter cube so we got gamma d we know the equation connecting gamma d and e that is gamma d is equal to g into gamma w plus by 1 plus e okay we know the value of gamma d as 16.36 is equal to g value is 2.75. Gamma w we will take it as 10 divided by 1 plus e. Solving this equation, we will get the value of e. Solve the equation, then we will get the value of e as 0.68. Okay, so we found out we found the value of void ratio as 0.68. Okay. So, second we need to find out the degree of saturation S. We know the general equation S E is equal to W into G. From this, S is equal to W G divided by E. Substitute the values. W is 0.10 into G is 2.75 divided by E is 0.68. Solving this, we will get the value of S as 0.404. Okay. 0.404. So our next aim is to calculate the weight of water required for full saturation or complete saturation. Okay. So now we know the value of E as 0.68 and value of S as 0.4044. Now we need to find out the value of W, W that is weight of water. For that we need to remember the formulas which contain weight of water. Okay. So we, we studied uh, many equation which contains the value W, W. So you have to take one of the equation from that we can find out W, W. We know that water content, water content is equal to, W is equal to weight of water by weight of solids. Small w is equal to weight of water by 
weight of solids right and also we know that gamma d is equal to weight of solids by total volume okay this is the basic soil properties we already know this equation so here we know the total volume that is v is equal to 100 meter cube and we know gamma d from this equation we can find out the value of ws weight of solids if we know the value of weight of solids substitute that in this equation and calculate the value of weight ww or weight of water okay so gamma d gamma d we already calculated the value of gamma d as 16.36 which is equal to ws divided by total volume of sample is 100 okay from this calculate the value of ws we will get it as 1636 kN. okay now substitute the value here we know the water content is 10 percent that is 0 0.10 is equal to weight of water divided by weight of solid solve this and calculate the value of ww we will get it as so weight of water we will get the weight of water as 163.6 kN. Okay, this is the solution for this problem. So you have to remember all the formulas in order to calculate the required values. Okay. Next question. An impactment of 1000 meter cube volume is to be constructed with soil having a void ratio of 0.8. After compaction, there are three borrow pits marked A, B and C having soils with void ratios 0 0.9, 1.5 and 1.8 respectively. Cost of excavation and transporting the soil is rupees 0 0.25, 0 0.23 and 0.18 per meter cube. Calculate the volume of soil to be excavated from each pit which borrow pit is most economical. Okay. So in this question, they are given that they need to construct an impactment of volume 1000 meter cube. Okay. And also after compacting, its, it's void ratio is 0.8. They are considering three borrow pits, A, B and C. And their void ratios are also given 0 0.9, 1 0.5 and 1.8. Okay. So our aim is we need to find out from which borrow pit we, we can collect the soil in order to construct an impactment in a economical way. Okay, so cost for uh, transporting and excavating are given for each borrow pit. The cost of excavation and transporting are given. So we need to find out which borrow pit is the economical one. Okay, so if we consider uh, the soil before compaction, okay, in before compaction, if we consider the volume as uh, v1 and its void ratio is e1 and its uh, tri unit weight as gamma d1 this is before compaction then after compaction what happens its volume will change its volume will change its void ratio will change and its gamma d value will change okay but if we consider the soil before compaction the volume of solids and weight of solids Okay, volume of solids and weight of solids before compaction and after compaction are the same because the volume of solids and weight, weight and volume of the solids will not change. There can be a change in the void ratio, voids or water content, but the void volume of solids and its weight will not change in uh, be before compaction and after compaction, they are same. Okay. So uh, from the all the equations we derived, we can find a relation that is the volume is directly proportional to 1 plus E value. Similarly, gamma D that is dry unit weight is inversely proportional to volume. Okay, if you closely uh, note all the equations which we derive, we can find this relation that is volume will be always directly proportional to 1 plus E and gamma D is inversely proportional to 1 by V. Okay. So from this condition, we can write an equation that is V1 by V2 is equal to 1 plus E1 by 1 plus E2. 
this is a very very important equation just note it down and also v1 by v2 is equal to gamma d2 by gamma d1 okay so you, uh, you have to remember this equation in order to solve this kind of problems okay so using this equation we are going to solve this problem okay we know the uh, volume after compaction and also we need to find out the volume of soil before compaction so they are given three borrow pits a b and c right they are given three borrow pit a b and c in first borrow pit a they are given that the void ratio is 0.9 in b 1.5 and c 1.8 and also they are given the cost as 0.25 0.23 and 0.18 Okay, here we can consider V2 as 1000 meter cube. That is the final uh, volume of embankment, right? We need to find out the initial volume or V1, that is the volume of soil to be excavated. Okay, first we are going to consider bore of it A. In A, we can consider, we can write this equation as V1 by V2, we can take as 1000 is equal to. So we are considering A here is equal to 1 plus E1. E1 means void ratio of the borrow pit. That is soil before compaction divided by 1 plus void ratio of soil after compaction. Okay. You will to solve this and we will get the value of V1 as. We will get the value of V1 as 1055.55 meter cube. Okay. Similarly, consider borrow pit B. Apply this equation that is V1 divided by 1000 is equal to 1 plus 0.23 divided by 1 plus 0.8. So we will get this V1 as that is volume of soil from borrow pit B as 1388.58 meter cube. Similarly, take the borrow pit C and apply this equation that is v1 divided by 1000 is equal to 1 plus 1 1.8 divided by 1 plus 0.8 here is a correction it is not 0.23 it is 1.5 that is void ratio of borrow pit b here 1.8 0.8 okay solving this we will get volume as 1555.55 meter cube okay so we calculated uh, the volume of soils required from bore pit a b and c so in order to construct an embankment with 1000 meter cube if we considering bore pit a then we need to take 1055 meter cube of soil from a and if we consider b then we take 1388 meter cube and if we consider c we will take 1555 meter cube okay so next step is we need to find out which borrow pit is most economical. What uh, they are given is that per meter cube value for per meter cube is they are given. So we need to calculate the cost of pit A. If we take excavate soil from borrow pit A, then our total cost cost from borrow pit A we can calculate it as 1055.55 into cost okay cost of a is equal to how much 1055.55 into 0.25 per meter cube it is 0.25 so for total volume we will get the value as 263.88 that is rupees 263.88 similarly calculate the cost from borrow pit b b is 1388.58 into 0.23 solving this well this we will get the value as rupees 319.44 similarly cost from c borrow pit c it is equal to 1555 into 0.18 solving this we will get it as 279.99 okay now we need to find out which one is more economical so we can find that borrow pit A, it will cost only rupees 263.88. This is the 
most economical pit that is in order to construct an embankment with 1000 meter cube of volume we can take soil from the borrow pit a which is more economical so the volume of soil required is 1055 meter cube and the cost is only 263.88 rupees okay so the answer is borrow pit we need to consider borrow pit a and the volume of soil required is 1055 meter cube and the cost is 263.88 okay this is how we need to solve this problem so you have to remember this equation v1 by v2 is equal to 1 plus e1 by e2 okay that's all for this section we will discuss more problems in the coming session thank you